All right, I'm in uh, one and one, and I'm going to change my DNS settings. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my domains, and slowly they come. All right, there's my domains, and I bought a few new ones. All right, so here we have this one right here. I haven't used that one yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into actions. So see the actions column. I'm going to click the down and I'm going to use um, name server. So you can see at the very bottom here. Let me go ahead and move this down a little bit, up a little bit. All right. So I'm going to use name server. And these are the name servers it's using one and one right now. So what we want to do is we want to use a custom name server, which is really what we use for um, one-on-one. Let me go down and see what this is down at the bottom. They change this every single time. It drives me crazy. All right, so you uh, use custom name servers. We click on that. And then all we have to do is put in the ones we want. So this is going to be, not that, it's going to be um, dns free hostia.com and then dns2. Dot, uh, dns2. Dot, oops. I had to pause it there because I had a call, phone call from a robo. I never know if that or a student, so I had to pick up. All right. DNS1, freehosty.com, DNS2, freehosty.com. Didn't misspell anything. I just hit save. And it thinks. Ah, six will be adopted. Uh, it's going to take 48 hours, yada, yada, yada. So that's all. That's it. That's as hard as it is. Uh, just got to do that. And uh, now you have to wait two days before it'll sh you can use uh, free host to you and, and it'll have see it uh, so anywhere actually from two to three days but um, get it done as quickly as possible and then check free host every once in a while after two days and see if you end up with that green check mark all right that's it